Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm coming at you with another instructional video on deck play. Now, this video I'm going to be talking about, as you can tell from the sleeve that is in front of you guys, is a Leon Soryu sleeve, so that can only mean one thing. That, that's right, this video is going to be talking about an Aqua Force deck, specifically the new Tetra Drive Dragon deck. Now, there's a lot of problems I have with this card. One being is I've been watching some gameplay recently online where people are posting their matches because I kind of watch them just to see, just to kind of see what people are doing, how they're playing, how they're playing certain cards. Um, and they're playing this card not right. And I don't know, you know, I know my opinion on what's right and wrong may not match other people's, but. I feel that if you're going to play a card, you should abuse it in the best way that can be abused. Um, that's just my take. I mean, so if I if I ever make it make it seem like I'm trying to insult your playstyle, I'm not. I'm just trying to make everyone better, or uh, and help you as the best way I can. So I'm going to give you a, a couple pointers. This video may not be that long, but okay. This is the starter that I am playing in my Tetra Drive Dragon deck. I went back to start. I almost said Star Vader, to Officer Cadet Eric. The reason being, guys, the two grade threes that you see played in a Tetra Drive deck are four copies of Transcore and four copies of Tetra. And the reason that being is is because this deck with Tetra riding on top of Transcore is fucking stupid. If you want to see my build of Tetra Drive Dragon, um, my deck profile will be in the link below. You can go check that out, and um, you can see my, check out my deck profile. Um, and see me talk about it a little bit more in depth. But these are the two grade threes you play in the deck. Now the reason, because um, I was playing um, the zero shooter that boosts for eight um, before then, um, I went back to Eric. Here's why. Riding Tetra before you ride Transcore in this deck is terrible because Tetra Drive Dragon, as he sits, is, an, is a good card. Riding on top of Transcore makes him a great card. As himself, good. Break riding is good. Because his ability to make your opponent drop two extra cards for that turn is stupid. So, I'm going to show you a couple... Uh, I'm going to show you the main setup that I do for when I'm going for Tetra Drive skill. Um, but just... Beforehand, I'm going to show you a couple of the key cards of the deck. So as I showed you, I play the starter. And then the other key cards that clearly you're going to have your Transcores and you're going to have your Tetras. Um, the one trigger that everyone needs to run is this. Actually, there's two triggers. Everyone should be playing these two triggers in the deck. Um, for um, See, because, okay, reason being, we finally get another draw trigger for Aqua Force. And we finally get one that is w useful. This is a Margo clone, where if you move it into the soul, you get to give 3,000 power to any Aqua Force you choose. And this guy, Supersonic Sailor, he lets you unflip damage. Now, there already is a damage flipper for Aqua Force, and I have one. I'm trying to find it, guys. One second. Where are you, you mother... Fucker. Here it is. Now, Aqua Force has a damage flipper, uh, a Garuda, a, a Dark Lancer, but I only have one copy of this card, and I hate playing one copy of anything in a deck. I just don't think it really is point uh, worthwhile. But you definitely should be playing for... Your crits, you definitely need to be maxing out on this card. And for your draw trigger, you definitely need to max out on this card. That's just um, that's just you abusing the triggers with power. If the triggers, if you play, have, play a deck that has triggers with abilities, those are the ones you want to play because generally they're going to help you out in some way or not. This card is going to help you unflip damage so you can use Tetra again. And this card is just going to help you juice up your weaker rear guards so they can get bigger on their numbers. Um... I still think you can play anywhere from two to three of this card in the deck because there is my only problem with the 10k attacker for Aqua Force right now is that you it has a it has a uh, it's like Jewel Knights it has a restriction on it you, it must meet some sort of 
standard to get that extra 3,000 power, to where it's the same way with the 12k attacker. Your opponent, you must have two or less rested units in order for him to gain that boost, and I don't like that. Um, so the reason I don't play Brave, uh, Mercenary Brave Shooter anymore is just because, yeah, if you draw it, you can use it in the early game to push, but after that, it's kind of pointless. Um, that's why I prefer to play Theo. Um, but I still abuse my 12k attackers, but I will say, when I go to Houston, I'm going to try and pick up two more of this card, and if I can pick up two more of this card, I'm going to take out the 12k attackers and just put in Carlos. Now, the other grade ones that you need to be taking abuse of, um, or taking uh, full advantage of, is Wheel Assault. This card is very, very good, because it allows you to swap cards around on your field that you might want to do, might want to. Um... It, it, however, it, I mean, it's good and it's not. You need to learn how to use this card um, properly um, because it allows you, say, this is your field. It allows you to swap to Aqua Force's positions. So it sometimes can get you that extra attack, but you need to, it, it's real screwy. I mean, I play Wheel Assault mainly just because if, say, an early game I call this here and I call where is it oh it's right there okay I got another one say I have this and I called this here to boost another rear guard in the late game when I want this here I can just go that's the main reason I play it and it's a good solid 7k um, so definitely take a take a advantage of wheel assault just make sure that you uh, use it at good times now, for your grade twos, for me, my grade two lineup is this. Is I still play four copies of Lazarus because I still think um, it is one of your best options as a grade two. Um, it's your, it's the one you want to ride to. And then I now play four copies of Title Assault and three copies of uh, Brave Shooter because I think this is the best grade 2 lineup that you can be playing unless you have three Carlos then I suggest you play three Carlos um, but um, this card is key for when you're doing your Tetra Drive skill with your Brake Ride it's the easiest way to do it um, so now I'm going to show you my perfect setup okay so this was your grade zero say you rode and then you rode lazarus you had where is it um say you called another rear guard at one point in a game you're pro i'm gonna probably end up calling one of my penguins to soul blast two to draw a card and then let's say we got this, we got this, where is he? Oh, there he is. And then let's say this. Or perfect case being this. Okay. And then we need one. Where are you? Okay, so let's say your field looks something like this before you're planning to do your Tetra Drive break ride. So let's say this is your turn. Say you just say you have. Okay, this is your hand. Say you drew into Tetra. Okay, break ride Tetra. Let's say you have five damage. What I like to do with that 5 damage is I like to counter blast 2 and give him plus 4 if I know that my opponent does not have perfect guards or I check their drop zone and they have 3 in there. So booting him up to 25 or sometimes just 23, it's up to you. So then let's say we go 12 plus 5, that's 17. This is where, um, with this attack, I think it would be smarter for you to take out one of their rear guards, maybe one of their 12k attackers, or if they're at 5 damage and you just want to go all out at their vanguard, that's also an option. Then what you need to do is you need to attack with Tetra Drive, unboosted. 
So then this is going to be 21 or 23, 25, something like that. Then you're going to drive check, okay? You're going to drive check, so you're going to get two cards to your hand. And then what you, you're going to do is you need to use this thing's ability. Now, any triggers, say you hit, let's say with your triggers you hit... Your first check, you get a draw trigger, and you draw this, and with your second check, you get a critical trigger. With your triggers, put your power on this guy. So say you give a draw trigger, and then you draw a card. Or let's say, you know what, for, for just argument's sake, let's say the only trigger you hit is a draw trigger. Let's say your first check is a draw trigger, you draw this, your second check is this. So say your draw trigger, put your power here on him. That way, even if your opponent is a crossroad vanguard, you're going to go... 14. Then they're going to guard or not guard it. Stand back up. He's back at 9. Now you can go 17 wherever you want. You can kill one of their rear guards. You can go at their vanguard again. There's so many options. Now, after that fourth attack, because keep count, the way it needs to go is you need to go one rear guard, two vanguard, and then three rear guard, and then four rear guard. After the fourth rear guard, you're going to counterblast two cards. So from your damage zone, say if we counterblasted two to you to boot up our Tetra Drive. Then with Tetra Drive's Limit Break, you're going to counterblast two more cards, and you're going to discard the two cards that you got from that twin drive. And then he stands back up. Then what you have here is if you did give him an extra boost, say, by, say let's go under the uh, assumption that you did what I suggested and counterblasted to him, put him at 25. Now he's at 25, re-standing. 25, 35,000. So unless your opponent has a perfect guard, this is going to be hard for them to deal with. And you're going to get transcourse ability. So each time that in this combo, say when Tetra attacks for the first time, your opponent has to discard and then guard. And then this time when he stands back up, he has to discard and then guard again. The thing that makes Tetra stupid, guys, is if your opponent chooses to discard for the effect to nullify Transcore's ability to where he doesn't gain that extra crit, and then Perfect Guard it. Guys, if they do that twice, that is six cards out of their hand. That is why Tetra Drive is so stupid, is because he eats away at your opponent's hand. That is also why you want to ride Tetra Drive Dragon, I mean, Transcore Dragon, before you ride Tetra Drive, because riding Tetra Drive first with... Tetra Drive just getting that one attack and your opponent does not not having to discard for Transcore, that is still okay, but it's not taking full advantage of what we have. Transcore Dragon is literally one of the best cards that Aqua Force has, and that's because with Tetra Drive, it makes your opponent discard an additional two cards during that battle step, and that can eat away at their hand a lot, and if they already have like only six or seven cards in their hand, you probably have them, unless they're at like three damage, because then they have a shot at it, but if they're at five damage, and they only have anywhere from five to seven cards in their hand, two of those are going to have to be discarded just because of Transcore. So if they do have seven cards, and two of them are going to have to be discarded because of Transcore, that puts him down to only five cards, and that means he's going to either have to Perfect Guard just the Vanguard and hope the Rear Guards either don't hit, or that he heals or gets a trigger on one of them to help. It's really not looking good for him. That's why Tetra Drive Dragon is so important to this deck to ride after you have rode Transcore Dragon. So anyway, guys, I hope you and um, this was helpful because I was seeing videos because this card is key to the ability. I was seeing someone that had a field something like this, and they would ride, te they would break ride Tetra Drive Dragon and just attack, knowing there's no way with any kind of field unless they have this card to get that fourth attack off. That is why. You only break ride this when you have this card in your hand, because that is going to ensure that you get that fourth attack off. Now, granted, there are ways with this card, Wheel Assault, that you can get technically four attacks off in one turn, but it is not as threatening, because... The ability to have this to where when this first attack is where you can stack any trigger power 
on top of this guy and go 14 at the vanguard and then them having to guard that or not and then him standing back up and going back to his base nine and then getting another 17 at him is crucial that's what makes this deck good it's because it's the ability to just throw more and more attacks at it and if you have any of these in your hand you can call them put them into the soul and just juice him up or him up or him up that's why this um that's why this card is so good and then why where is it this card is so good too because it will help you when you move it into the soul you get to look at your damage and unflip one. So that gives you their next turn, if you didn't finish them off with that big break ride push, you have those two damage to counter blast to get Tetra to do two attacks again. That's the important that's why you should play both of these. So anyway, guys, I hope this was informative. I hope this helped. Um, the last thing I will mention, guys, I think your best bet for playing this deck, you do need to start with a uh uh, officer cadet eric i think it is the best starter for this deck that is just my opinion you um are free to continue to use the brave shooter if that is what you are most comfortable with because like i've said many times you should always do what makes you the most comfortable now if you ask me i would play captain eric because i think the ability to get transcore into your hand and have it rode first before Tetra is what makes this deck click and it's what makes it wins win consistently. Because in order because you want your deck to act as consistent as possible. And Aqua Force, when their best way to uh, remain consistent is to abuse the effects and the ride com and the attack combos that they have. Being able to abuse the effect as well, where you're going to be eating away at your opponent's hand with this two-card combo of two extra cards, is crucial and devastating for them, especially in the late game and when they're at four to five damage, because it limits their options. So anyway, guys, I hope this was informative. I hope this helped you. If you are wanting to play Tetra Drive Dragon and or you are playing Tetra Drive Dragon in the comment section below, please tell me if this helped you or if this gave you any other insight or if you just enjoyed the video to see or anything. So if you do play Tetra Drive or you are going to play Tetra in the future, please let me know if this video helped you or just was very well informative or just... Um, I don't know. Just let me know that you enjoyed it. Um, if um, Now I'm going to move you up here, guys. Again, I do these deck informative videos because I want to help the other players who may not have all the answers. Because I, I admit I don't have all the answers, but I like doing these videos for you guys. So you have um, just another person's point of view. I'm not saying I know the best way, but I do feel that this, what I just showed you, is the best way to abuse this deck. So I hope you guys feel the same way that you do that you uh, that you find this combo helpful. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, guys, um, if you haven't subscribed to me already, please do so. I make videos all the time, um, deck instruction videos, deck profiles, um, random rants, um, all kinds of stuff. I will mention in this video as well as what I did in my Starvader Chaos Breaker instruction video. Uh, so if you want to see my take on the Starvader Chaos deck. Go check that one out. Um, I mentioned in that one, and I'll mention it this in that this one as well, me and Shadow Strike will be traveling to um, Houston, Texas for the Vanguard um, Invasion Tournament. So um, if you guys are going there, please come up and see us. Um, we'd like to meet you, say hi. Um, we're going to be looking for some people to do deck profiles with um, and do interviews with. Um, really uh, would love to do some of those with you. Um, if you would like to do so, please let me know. I would be more than happy to let you be a part of it. Um, as I told, said in that video too, I started this channel literally to expand my Vanguard circle and just talk as, to as many people as I can. Um, I love Vanguard. I love the game. I love just everything about it and I and I love meeting and talking to people about it and getting their thoughts and just that is why I love this game so if you're gonna be at Texas come up to me and uh, introduce yourself say hi I'd love to meet you um, maybe play you in an exhibition game trade a little bit I will have my uh, 
trade binder with me at local at at locals at Texas. So if you are wanting to trade, um, I will post one more trade binder update before I go to Texas, so everyone will know what I have. Um, I will. I don't know what Bushy Roads um, a policy is on selling cards. Um, I would be willing to sell um, cards. Um, so. If that is something you're interested in, let me know. Um, please know that if you are going to Texas and you tell me, hey, I want to buy the one of the Star Vader Chaos Breaker Dragons in your book, I will not hold it for you because if I do get a trade offer between now and then, I'm going to go with that. But I will be probably getting maybe one more box of Set 13 before I come down there just to uh, maybe get a little more trade bait. So anyway, guys, I hope this was informative. So if you are going to be in Texas, so please let me know. I would love to meet you. Um, I'm all, I love meeting new players. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if, the, if you did not enjoy this video, please let me know why you didn't so I can uh, do something in the future that will make you enjoy it or make you uh, enjoy it a little bit more. So anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up to this video for me. I would greatly appreciate that, um, and I will see you later.